If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, my people, we are live inside the MPC software, and we are going to get this nice Tory Lanez track popping. We're going to start with just some nice slow backing chords. First thing we're going to do is take the BPM down, let's say to about 135, 136. Let's say 136. I have the Elite Pianist plugin pulled up, and I have the Luna Gwynn uh, piano. We're going to put that in chords. Right. And we're just going to lay down some nice uh, chords to uh, to kind of start our track off. Let's do that. Right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in notes, take it off chords, put it in notes, and then we're going to raise the octave up a little bit. Um, I want my melody that lays over this to be a little bit um, a little bit dull, so I want it to lay in the background of the chords. I don't want it to be too present. So we don't want to drop the same velocity in the notes. So the way we change the velocity is we hold shift and you hit the full level button up here, and then that button is going to start blinking. Now it puts it in, in half velocity. This is full velocity, shift, and a full level button. That's half velocity. So let's lay a little melody down with this, a little freestyle melody. Let's do it. Let's put a little RC20 on that. Let's do that. RC20 will give us a little color to the to the to the beat. take our EQ and we're going to EQ the sample just a little bit. Lane's vibe already. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give the track like a nice little back and feel. So for that, I went into the Trophies VST and I have a nice little pad that I use. It's called a Stress Gone Pad. And it's just something to lay lightly in the back. It sounds like this. So we're going to give this like a nice little mellow dreamy feel just with this pad lightly in the background. Let's do it. Nice, nice, nice. All right, the next thing I did was I went to Arcade and I pulled up the Distant Voices pack uh, to give me some vocal chops that I can lay in the background. And these gave me some nice little vocal hits. Really, really nice vocal chops. So I found some pieces to work with and I went on ahead and drew this progression in. And then I dropped the EQ on it. 
to kind of cut out a little bit of it because I don't want the vocal to shine. I just want something to carry it in the background. That's kind of like how those, those airy Tory Lanez vibes has. Um, it's kind of like a little light vocal in the background that he can sing to. So check this out. So that gave the track like a nice little spacious vibe and that's what I'm looking for. All right, we're gonna go out on and drop some drums on the track. I'm gonna go back to track one. We're gonna hit browser. I have a nice little R&B kit that's really, really nice. So we're gonna find some things in there that we can kind of put on the track. I got this nice crash sound, so I'm gonna put that on a one. Okay, and then next I have this other hi-hat. Now what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna throw the 64s in it. That's the really, really fast hi-hats to kind of give it like a nice little, a nice little uh, bounce vibe. The way I wanna do that is I wanna pitch them. So I wanna choose the hi-hat. And then I want to go to main and I want to go to 16 level. I want to go to tune. I want to make sure that I put it down on pad eight. That way I have enough pads to work with. And then now I want to go to note repeat and choose 64. And then we're going to drop those in there. So now so far with the track, this is the vibe that I'm going for. that's the vibe that I want with the track, man. Just a little something that kind of vibes in that little pocket. That way the artist's voice can shine through. All right, next we want to drop that 808. We're going to lay this 808 in kind of like a melodic pattern. So check this out.
808 Nights, man. I really, really like the way this track is coming out. Really love it. Now, I want to give the track like a nice little epic vibe. So what I did is I went to the Sector VST, and I have a pad sound. It's called a kidney pad, and I like to use this pad a lot. Because if you notice, the filter makes it linger out and it gets brighter as the pad hangs on. So I like using this pad because it's a really, really nice pad to draw like an epic feel and kind of give the beat a nice little break. So let's see if we can drop this in here. Is the track that's it a nice chill melodic vibe something that Tory Lanez or one of those nice melodic singers would sing on and get a nice little groove off of this so I hope you guys enjoyed the track